All right, I guess we're ready to begin. Um, es un gran honor para mí presidir esta segunda mesa de, nuestra, de nuestro seminario sobre la diversidad lingüística. C'est un gran honor para mí presidir esta segunda mesa de nuestro seminario sobre la diversidad lingüística. As a transplanted Canadian who's devoted her scholarly life to working on, to studying Latin America, the linguistic cosmos I inhabited is that of the Americas, home of four of the great global lingua francas, Spanish, English, Portuguese, and French, in order of numbers of speakers, and also home to hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of indigenous languages, including the languages of the great civilizations of the Americas, Quechua, Aymara, Nahuatl, and Maya. One of the most interesting aspects to me of uh, studying linguistic diversity is the uneven distribution of linguistic diversity on the planet. 15% of the languages in the world, that 6,000 we've been talking about, live in the Amazon region of South America. Another 24% live in the area of Papua New Guinea. And most of the languages in the world have very small numbers of speakers. There are only uh, there are fewer than 200 languages in the world that have over a million speakers. So one of the really interesting aspects to me of linguistic diversity and the challenges that languages uh, encounter is the diversity of diversity. That is that there are many different ways in which there are many different linguistic geographies that people inhabited, inhabit places of intense diversity and places of much less diversity. Um, Today, in this panel, the subject of our panel today is one I greet with an enormous enthusiasm. It's about language initiatives by governments and public authorities, how things work in practice, and what works. I'm delighted to see this subject discussed in uh, this particular country, which hasn't had ever had a language policy, except perhaps it's... Uh, the de facto language policy people like to refer to, which is, if English was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. <laughs> Americans love to uh, quote that phrase, which is always attributed to someone else, uh, someone else's mother-in-law. Um, but it is true that in the absence of policy, and there is an absence of initiative, and what happens then is you get a world that's driven linguistic by linguistic ideology on the one hand, in this case the ideo ideology of monolingualism and English only, and on the other hand you have a linguistic reality which is a country that has never been more multilingual than it is now um, and which because there are no initiatives and no policies, it's a country that's unable to take advantage of its own linguistic diversity. And that's something that has been encountered by the United States, as you all know, um, in the most dramatic way in the last seven years. Um, so I'm very pleased that experts are here today bringing the experience of other places. And in particular, we have here people from three, uh, from four of the places where the initiatives have been most successful and most dramatic. I refer to New Zealand, uh, Canada, and Bolivia, and uh, the United Arab Emirates. And I'm really thrilled that we have such a diversity of expertise here. We're going to begin today, I want to begin first by reminding my colleagues, they are asked to speak for 15 minutes. And I will gently, at the end of 10 minutes, show, <laughs> shove a piece of paper in your direction, reminding you you have five minutes left. And at the end of that five minutes, you will receive a rude announcement that your time is up. Um, I thank you for your patience. But we're going to begin with a video. Uh, this short video concerns language endangerment and disappearance and the need to safeguard linguistic diversity. In 2002-2004, UNESCO, uh, in partnership with Discovery Communications, INC, and the UN Works Program, UNESCO produced a series of 18 short form programs on various endangered languages throughout the world. And so we're going to see a few of those um, here before we begin our with our panelists. So can you want to run the video? 